yeah what's up guys what's going on welcome back to my channel i hope you are good all right so in this video today i'm going to continue the series on candlesticks right i promise you guys that i will be uh dropping series on candlesticks if i get <laughs> you know uh a lot of reactions from the previous video, video i posted yeah i do get some reactions um yeah i i discover a lot of uh, you guys uh love the that particular one so but i bet you this one is going to be mind-blowing again it's going to be something even more interesting than the one you you a kind of watched and maybe you have started using it so if you have started testing out the previous one i sent uh across let me know in the comment section how you feel about it and um, you know and there's something i also needed to let you guys know about the previous one so you have to also uh, check out the indices or currency pairs that they work best on okay so um i'll be doing that after the series i'll be suggesting my own you know through my own uh, research and having been doing this or trading this particular candlestick for a very long time i'll be suggesting to you guys the one i think the indices i think if you apply these candlesticks they work best on all right so because you don't just um, use it on anything maybe on any boom or any volatility or any currency pair at all so there are ones i think it works best on so you can actually figure it out yourself as you are back testing or you are trading but i'll be doing that also at the end of this series i'll be bringing you know giving you guys breakdown and proof of the indices and uh currency pairs you can use them best okay uh you know you can easily pick them and they work best you know some these strategies have uh where you can actually um, use them uh, the most right so today i'm going to be looking at one of the most popular candlestick pattern which is known as the morning star and the evening star the name is not important you can give it any name of your choice but this is what it looks like let's say the morning star is just a reversal pattern to the upside let's say if the price is dropping to the downside this way okay so at a point the price is likely going to create uh, a candlestick maybe something like this okay um this could come with weak or without weak so depending on uh, whatever the price is uh, showing you let's say this have weak this also have weak okay then after that you have a bullish engulfing from here okay so we are looking at these three candlesticks right here we are looking at these three candles okay so this is what is known as uh morning star so it's a reversal pattern to the upside guys it's a reversal pattern to the upside so um you have to understand this so the opposite the opposite is the evening star which is a reversal pattern to the downside let's say that the price is pushing up pushing up okay and at a point the price can actually create something it could be let's say something like this okay then another bearish candle so if the price have something like this you you might have uh, a week this way you might have something this way you can equally have a week this way okay so now we are looking at these three candles right here okay that's the evening star okay so now what uh, how uh, do people trade this stuff okay the common way people trade this morning and evening star is once the price closes below that is the this particular third candle closes people are going to be making entry at this zone okay they are going to be selling also they are going to be selling here okay this are sorry they are going to be buying here because this is a bullish uh, signal right here and this is a bearish signal so they are buying at the end of the third bull, uh, third candle which is the second bullish candle or the bullish engulfing candle at the close of that bullish engulfing candle they are going to be buying here also they are going to be doing this selling okay 
at the close of this third candle right here okay that's the common way a lot of people trade this okay then i want to share with you how to do this now you can see this is a live chart okay i'm likely going to take this trade but um i just want you to see uh you know know how you can actually pick these things okay so if you look at this chart right now you can see we we are having the same thing happening uh on this chart okay so if you look here you can see we have one two three candlesticks so these candlesticks right here this is exactly what we mean by an uh, uh evening star this is a reversal pattern to the downside you can see the bullish candle the bigger one we have the smaller one in the middle and it have a bearish engulfing or bearish bigger bearish candle so what you simply need is uh first if it's you are looking at um evening star you are looking at you want to see a big bullish candle smaller candle in the uh, after that then a bigger bearish candle so must this bearish candle be equal to this one the the first one the answer is no the most important thing is that the first candle and the third candle okay should be bigger than the one in the middle so this particular candle right here and this candle right here should be bigger than the candlestick in the middle that's just it okay so once you see something like that especially when you have something like this weeks up then i think uh, you are definitely going to be getting something good right so now now we have seen the candle let's still pick another example uh okay look at this one again okay look at this okay you can see this is bigger than the one in the middle and the bullish candle here bullish engulfing is bigger than the one in the middle so this is also a reversal pattern which is uh um uh a bullish reversal pattern this is simply uh the morning star okay so we go again go back and we have it again here we have this one is bigger than this in the middle and this one is also bigger than this so we have this also as uh the evening star which is a reversal pattern to the downside so all these things okay this is exactly what they are going to be looking for so i'm using four hours time frame guys i'm using four hours time frame so you can check these things out okay we have something like this like that here again okay you can see this this is a reversal pattern okay we have this this and this now this is interesting if you look at all these places here we have this reversal pattern and the price is a kind of dropping here right now because this uh the current chart here we had this reversal pattern the price reversed to the upside okay here we had the same thing the price reversed to the downside now if we are using the common way we also have it here but the price did not reverse the price rather keep going to the upside so the question is what happened right here at this fourth position okay what is the problem here so the common that's that's exactly what i want to share with you if you want to do it the common way because the common way is that once you have that you sell at the close of this candle your stop loss should be above the week of the uh the candles above here okay and your tp could be anywhere this is what what it look like okay then uh we are speculating it will work well here now look at here you should sorry you should buy at the close of that candle right and your stop loss should be here tp can be anywhere okay then the next one you should sell right here okay and your tp could be anywhere one is to two three four five one is to one then this one above here good and fine all of them we are working this one worked well this one worked well we are we don't even know what will happen here then look at this one this everything is okay then we decided to sell at the closing of this and what happened the price simply push above and trigger the stop loss so what could be the issue right here what is the problem why is it that uh this one 
disobey the rule. I know it's not going to be happening all the time. You are not going to be seeing those things working. You know, you have heard a lot of stuff like this. Oh, uh, the candlestick, you should know, is not all of them that will play elsewhere and all that. Yes, it's true. Not all of them that will play elsewhere. But how do we filter out the ones that will play elsewhere so that we'll be able to avoid this kind of signal? Because this might be the first trade you are thinking about candlestick. Maybe that you have learned, uh, maybe you watched videos on YouTube and you uh, decided to test it out on live account our real account this is the first trade we are taking and boom you enter the trade using what you have the information you have uh, about evening star and you make entry now the price hits your stop loss how, how do you feel you're not going to be you are not going to feel happy right no matter anything even though they have told you ah uh, it doesn't happen all the time so you are going to be losing some and you are going to be making uh, making money so what if you, if you enter the next one and the same thing happen it hits your stop loss so what is going to be your mindset about towards candlestick is it simply is not working candlestick doesn't work right as simple as that so but now what i'm trying to share with you is how to filter out this one make sure you take it out and focus on the ones that is going to give you the profit you need right and then this is exactly what i'm here to share with you so let's go into that all right so now i'm going to just break down first of all this one that is happening now what i'm speculating and what i'm waiting for then i'm going to check this check this and also check this so that we see what actually what is the problem here okay so that we'll be able to avoid this kind of signal right so i'm going to start with uh this one okay so this is actually the three candles then what you simply need okay is once you see this uh reversal pattern a candlestick pattern simply go down to um 30 minutes time frame or 15 minutes time frame now what are you looking for before this thing happen what you are going to see in 30 minutes time frame is that you're going to see the price pushing up this way then maybe this is the place this candlestick formed and this candle is coming with something this candle is forming either you see a clear head and shoulders pattern or you just see a clear ascending channel or descending channel all right if you don't know about ascending and descending, i've created videos about that already or uh, you can go to other or search it on youtube you are going to see that okay now if you draw two things if the price create maybe decided to create a uh, head and shoulders pattern you enter with head and shoulders pattern there not just the candlestick the candlestick have given you the setup that is the reversal candlestick have given you the setup then you go down to a lower time frame and use chart pattern to enter which is uh, um head and shoulders pattern that's what the price is likely going to create okay or the price will give you a channel okay so what what you're going to see is something like this okay or you see the price push up this way okay and reverse this way so simply what you want is just to draw a trend line that's just the whole thing we are talking about here draw a trend line simply wait for the price to break your trend line okay so even though you have seen the pattern you have seen everything but if the price have not you know break out from your trend line don't enter the trade so if the price break out, what you are waiting for is for the price to retest your trend line, then you sell. The price retest your trend, trend line, you sell. Now, not all the time that the price will retest your trend line. That's what I'm going to be sharing with you in the bonus section. You know, I always have bonus section how you can actually do this. So now you need to also understand how to, you know, uh, you know squeeze out profit even when the uh, uh, price is uh, not going to be retesting. Okay so uh let's uh at, at least you have gotten the concept now so now you, we have this reversal pattern are we going to enter like other people just because we have seen the reversal pattern we are to sell at this close okay and set our stop loss here so what if the thing that happened uh right here happened here we are going to lose out okay so we don't want to do that so what we need to do is simply go to a lower time frame so let's say i i move down to 30 minutes time frame okay so to check if we have a clear trending market to the upside or we have a clear pattern so if you look right here we are having something like uh 
I needed to clear this. So if you look right here, we are having something like head and shoulders, but it is not clear. So if you look here, we have something like the first shoulder, the head, and the second shoulder, but I don't like this. So simply pick a trend line, guys. Okay, that's what you have to do. Simply pick a trend line and draw. Okay, draw your trend line. Connect to a simple connect to uh lows okay for this then you know simply wait for your price to break out of that trend line because you might just sell here okay you might just sell anywhere around here and the price will simply come down to this trend line retest it and keep going to the upside okay that's what the price is likely going to do come here retest it and boom to the upside and the price keep going and your conclusion is i saw it on four hours i clearly the, the 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 signal is clear but the price disobeyed candlestick pattern yes because there are a lot of stuffs that the price also consider it's not just about candle, creating candlestick patterns for you so this is it so instead of me entering this trade i will simply wait for the price to break my trend line okay so the pattern is a signal okay but that's not an entry candlestick all those things are sick the problem is that we don't even know the difference between entries and signal so if the price gives decided to give you a signal it doesn't mean you should jump in this is a signal that you should okay start looking for a place for you to make entry so another thing uh one can actually do which is understanding your break of structure or change of color character sorry i don't know what you call it anything but what i'm trying to say is you seeing the price break the the low of the previous trend okay so and this one it seems like the price is also if the price is breaking it the price is also breaking trend line so i think this one is nice if you see something like this after the break retest good and fine this is the point you are going to be making your entry okay because the price have cleared the trend line also break out from the previous trend okay then you are now we are ready for that reversal so this is the difference now you trying to check out or modify this stuff for you to make better entries so instead of me doing this making entry at this top i'll just simply wait for the price to give me my entry okay so this is that uh, for for my speculation on this current price using what i'm uh sharing with you right now okay so just simple candlestick that most people say it doesn't work it works and it's things that are very easy to pick and mark okay so now we check out this one okay we check out this one right here okay now we have these three candles right here so we want to know what actually happened and the best way to take this entry so i told you guys to take this you cannot just take it at the closing of this one because it doesn't happen or it doesn't you don't want to guess do guesswork or do what a lot of people are doing right so what you need to do is simply go down also to 30 minutes or 15 minutes time frame okay so let me just go down to 30 again let me just use 30 for this video where you can actually check out 15 minutes time frame so now you can see this is the zone where we have that uh reversal pattern so we are not getting anything like we are not getting the the head and shoulders pattern right here which is what the price we create most time okay we are not getting it right here so what do you need Sim simply go I, I told you guys that before the pattern forms, the good ones, you are going to see a running trend, either to the downside or to the upside. So if you look right here, you have this clear downtrending market. Just connect your trend line, simple, and wait for the price to break the trend line and retest. Okay, you can see we had something uh, after the breakout, the price started to pull back, but it couldn't retest the trend line right that's the reason why i say stick around i'm also going to share with you the bonus tip on how to take this okay on how to take this kind of entry so that i won't be missing out but the major thing is that the price breakout you make your entry all right the major thing is that you waited for the price to break out from a trend so before 
the the pattern forms there must be a running trend so if you see anyone without a running trend and the pattern is forming that means the price is ranging you shouldn't be taking candlesticks or candlestick patterns on a ranging market that's a, a, a that's an, another information so you don't just see because it's a uh, morning star evening star and the price is ranging you are taking the signal that means you want to lose lose out so there must be a running trend before you start considering making entry using uh uh um that is uh, using um, our pattern which is the morning and evening star so this is the point you are start going to uh, making entry at swing low after the breakout right then this is this is interesting guys start liking this video i hope you are getting value like this video leave a comment okay you can leave a comment on the next candlestick you want me to create video on on how to make entry okay so if you know about candlestick drop a comment let me know the the next candlestick you think i'll be creating video on okay so um that's for this one okay that's for this one then look at this one this is the next one we are going to before we go to the one that failed you can see this particular candle but instead of doing this there's no time guys you have already seen this you can you can see what is happening here so we are still going to have the same thing so let me just share with you let's see what happened right here what is the problem right here okay so we have these three candles which is the pattern we are looking for and we are good with this okay so now uh let me remove this so i won't be confusing if you go down to lower time frame so we're expecting this price to reverse at this point and go to the downside now all those who decided to use the same common stuff there and sell here have hit their stop loss by now no matter how long where your stop loss is, is, is your stop, stop loss here 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 or here anywhere you set it it must have been hit or you blow your account two ways so now what are we doing we simply go down to a lower time frame guys okay we go down let me see I told you let me keep using 30 minutes for this so we simply go down to 30 minutes time frame or 15 minutes time frame okay so once we go down to that time frame we see you must see a running trend guys so if you look right here you have that running trend from here coming up so what did the price do okay you are looking for what the price do around here so if you also put the price right here so look at if you you can see this is a swing uh let's make sure we are getting it okay so this is a swing this is also a swing so I'm, i want to share with you two ways you can see this is the swing high this is another swing high so you stretch your trend line to this way this is what you are going to have remember all these things right here have not played out or you know so you are simply waiting for the price to drop to the downside let's say you decided to squeeze in the trend line inside here okay because some people might say oh why not use uh something like this let me get a trend line connect this connect this this low and boom to the upside this way okay now if i go also let me just go up to four hours so you can see this one which i think is the best way but you can still see people drawing these two so let's check the two and know what actually happened so you can see that clearly the price did not even come close to the trend line here you know uh, uh, let alone breaking it okay so let's check this particular one we go to four hours back okay we go to our four hours time frame to see exactly what happened so you see on this four hours time frame we can see this particular trend line this trend line the after this particular candle okay you are expecting a bearish candle to break to close below this our trend line or retest it that's what we have been having all this while all these examples i'm giving okay you are waiting for price to break our trend line close like this one 
you can see after this particular candle, a bullish candle closes above, which is break our trend line, closes above our trend line, then we now start looking for retest. Okay? So the same thing, that's what we're expecting here. That's this trend, even if you're using this one, assuming you're squeezing this trend line, for instance, then if the after this closing, a bearish candle should close this, below our trend line then that's the point you start looking for entries okay so you can see after this particular candle what we start having is bullish so you shouldn't be seeing clear bullish candlestick closing above your trend line and you are still making entry guys this is what you need to do so even though you missed you know you know some people don't even understand where uh, how to draw this trend line of a stuff very well so let's say you don't get this swing lows. Maybe you are just focusing on the inside, what you are having here. So let's say you miss drawing the perfect trend line and you started to draw here. You are still going to see signals not to sell because there is no bullish power after the pattern. If it, Sorry, there is no bearish power after the pattern. What you are seeing is bullish. The candlestick closes bullish and it's even something like a hammer right there, which is a bullish candlestick pattern. So that's even the point. That's even more reason why you should avoid taking the entry. Right? So you need to understand this. And if you understand this, you'll be able to squeeze out those uh, uh, or filter out those wrong signals. Okay? Instead of making entry with the uh, si uh, signal, you, you wait for a breakout for you to see the perfect entry or the best entry for you. All right? So, the bonus tip, guys, is simple. <laughs> the same, almost uh, the same thing that I'd like, what I told you in the previous video. So, sometimes you might be waiting for a retest, just like what we are having here. So, let me just go down to 30 minutes time frame um, to share this one. Okay. So, let's use the current chart right now. So, you can see we have our... Um, trend line okay in place okay so you can use this so now we have our trend line you can just make entry immediately let's say that the price just can 30 minutes can do just closes below here you can just make your entry at the closing of that candlestick so what you need to do like the previous video i told you guys if you are risking 5% of your accounts on a daily basis, or sorry, pay trade, what you need to do in this trade now is that you risk in this trade, you can just start entering your trade with uh, risking 2% of your account or 1% of your account of your uh, capital, you know, uh, your balance. Depending on your risk management, it's personal to you. Whatever you do is personal. So now if you are risking, let's say you, you enter with 0 0.5 or you enter with one lot size. At this point, you can enter with 0 0.3 or 0 0.4. Then when the price retest, decided to retest this zone, you can now make another entry with 0 0.6, right? So 0 0.6 plus 0, plus 0 0.4 is one, right? So you are now making the complete entry at the retest then if the price did not retest your trend line then you can now keep riding in profit on this one so you will not be missing out so that's this is another way you can actually make entry then the next one okay i'm giving you another bonus tip right now is that the price can break here okay let's say you don't want to make entry just break out you want to make sure that there's, there's a retest now if the price break out and the retest happened but it couldn't get to your zone, you can make entry after the breakout. You are looking for swing high. So you are not just looking for a retest because the price is definitely not going to be retesting the trend line all the time. So you are looking for the next swing high after a breakout. So if you are seeing any other swing high after a breakout, that's the point you are going to be making entry. So you are not going to be waiting for the price to retest all the time so once you see a swing high then make your entry set your stop loss above the trend line then your tp down right so now the major thing 
why you must not wait for entry is that you have already gotten your signal you have gotten a signal a reversal signal you are just looking for entry and the entry is a break of uh, a trend line okay once you have the break you make your entry but if you want to you know uh, make sure you are managing your account where if you want to manage your account where after the breakout make entry with lower lot size then when the price gives you the first swing high the swing high can happen as a retest or just happen somewhere here you then make the complete entry so these are the uh, bonus tip or the ways which you can actually make a better entry using this candlestick pattern i hope you enjoyed this i hope this video is helpful don't forget to like this video if you are new to my channel consider subscribing to this channel also join my telegram group uh the link is in the description of this video is don't check the link in the comment section don't go and start looking for number in the comment section to call all the information you need about this channel about me about my my group or my services anything at all is definitely going to be in the description of my videos right and i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now guys